Hi friends, I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking through some of the books that I want to meet. I want to meet, want to read in the month of June. It's more of a pile of possibilities. My mood is just feeling very, very up in the air right now. Uh, I am not really sticking to what I am telling myself I want to read. Like, I keep telling myself I want to read sequels. And I am not reading the sequels. I am reading other things. And the sequels are still languishing. They're still waiting, uh, especially these two, uh, which I've been planning to read for like the past couple of months and I still have not read. I am filming this on like the 21st of May. So there is a chance I could read one of these in May. Uh, but I've been planning to read these since April and I still have not read them. And now they're going to be in my June TBR. So it's just... The mood, whether I put these on my TBR or not, it is a possibility that I will read them. There is no certainty. There is just possibility because the brain is just going off on tangents and deciding it wants to pick up things like this instead of sticking to the TBR. It's just going rogue. It is going very, very rogue and just following a hype train and going off by itself and not listening to a sensible part of the brain that t keeps telling it to finish some series. Uh, so anyway, potentially... I will get to The Bone Shard War by Andrew Stewart, the third and final book in the Drowning Empire trilogy, which I have really enjoyed. I just haven't continued yet. Uh, or Chain of Thorns, the third and final book in the Last Hours trilogy, which I've read the first and the second book in April, so it's not been very long. Uh, but finishing off this trilogy is also has also been on the cards for a little while, and I would really like to finish this. So I have a couple of sequels. I have a couple, well, those are finales. I have a couple of finales. I also have a couple of sequels that I would potentially like to get to, but again, who knows what's going to happen. I have The Bitter Twins, which is the second book in the Ninth Rain trilogy, uh, which again has been on the TBR for quite a little while, but I've been wanting to read this and I just haven't. But uh, I read the first book in December, so it has been a little while now. And ever since I read it in December, I've been planning to continue on with this sequel and I just haven't done it. Why? Who knows why? Uh, but I would really like to continue and finish this trilogy. Uh, it is a genre bending fantasy with some sci-fi horror elements thrown in following a cast of characters uh, that are looking at relics of previous wars um, and the threat that potentially one of these wars is going to come back and that one of the uh, threats from one of these wars is going to come back. Uh, and we have a whole sort of cast of characters with witches, these vampire-like figures, uh, magical creatures a very yeah just a, in general a very interesting cast of characters multi-perspective so i'm really interested to continue with this i just haven't uh one where i have just read the first book and i can proudly say i did it guys i did it i read the blade itself i did me i did it has been on so many tbrs so so many tbrs but finally i read it uh, it, it took me a very long time. It took me many, many TBRs. Uh, many of you probably never believed that the day would come, but the day has come. Uh, I will talk about it in my May wrap up. The day came, I read the book, it happened. I finally achieved something. Uh, so that does mean that I should continue because I may have read the first one, but, the, and I did really enjoy it. Like, I, spoiler alert, but I did and really enjoy it. I did. Uh, so I need to continue on with the rest of the series and read the second one, which is Before They Are Hanged. So hopefully I could potentially read this in June and um, continue on with the series whilst the first one is still very fresh in my mind, whilst I remember all the details. Uh, so I would like to continue with this, this series as well. So those are my series, the things I want to continue on, the things I want to keep working with. I am going on holiday in June. Uh, I have a two weeks, two weeks of holiday uh, in the middle of the month. So that will be taking over the the, the month uh, that I am going to be away for a big chunk of it. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to Canada for two weeks. Uh, I'm very excited. My bank account is already crying, but I am very, very excited about it. So I don't quite know what my reading is going to be like. Uh, I know that I will have time to read uh, because it's a very long flight. Uh, so there will be time then. And I have tried to make it like a holiday with like traveling around but also some time to potentially relax so hopefully i will do some reading but i expect it will be maybe a little bit sporadic uh we are we do have some relatively chunky car drives but i have will probably be doing the bulk of the driving uh so i don't think i'll be reading my boyfriend will have a lovely amount of time where he'll be able to read if he's not taking in the scenery but i will be driving who knows what the reading will be like 
in Canada, I don't know, but that's going to take out up a good chunk of the month. Aside from that, I am taking part in Once Upon a Readathon, which is a month-long read-along uh, taking part in the month of June, hosted by Hannah Blackwell. I will leave her channel and announcement video down below. I did announce it as well as a little short, but if you're after full details of, details of the readathon, then I will leave her announcement video below. And I am on Team Dragons. So it is a competitive team-based readathon where we're split into teams. Uh, so dragons, gin, merfolk, and pirates. And I am uh, co-host for Team Dragon. So I really want to read some dragon books. Uh, I mean, who wouldn't want to read dragon books? Dragon books are great. You can get points for any book that you read, uh, but if I read books with dragons in them, I get bonus points. So let's just embrace that and read some dragon books. I have a selection of books on my TBR uh, that have dragons in them. It made me realise that I have quite a few books with dragons in them on my TBR that I am obviously gravitating towards dragons. Uh, so I don't know how many of these I will get to and which ones I will prioritise, but this is a selection of my dragon books. Oh, I've got a hair in between these books. There we go. So here is a selection of my dragon books. I feel like as of right now, I'm leaning towards Dragon Mage and Fireborn. Like those are the ones that are calling to me the most out of this pile, uh, especially because they are all starts of series. So I don't feel like I want to dive into all of them straight away because that would be a, a lot of series to start and, and and you know I'm not really finishing the series this year not doing so well at that. Dragon Mage I've heard could read as a standalone it was originally written as a standalone and the sequel's only announced following the success of this book um and then Fireborn has been on my like top series to start for quite a while so I feel as though those two are the priority but I do have these other dragon books as well and I could just, you know, use this as a selection, a possibility pile of dragons, a dragon book, dragon month, dragon, dragon, dragons, dragons and sequels. That is the plan. Dragons and sequels. So I feel as though I've, that's been a whistle stop tour of my TBR and some of my plans for the month. As my brain just feels a little bit all over the place, I think there is a, the possibility that I could pick up anything that uh, it really could, my brain could wake up and just decide that it wants to read X and that's what it's going to read. I am gonna allow the brain to do whatever it wants to do. We are we're in a fluid mentality at the moment. The mood reader is here and she is here to stay, it seems. Uh, and I think it's best that I just listen to her. I, I best that I just follow the mood and see what I pick up, see what I feel like. I feel as though it's really working because, I mean, I'm currently reading this, this dragon book uh and i was planning to save it until june but then the hype just kept talking about it they it just i just i couldn't resist it i couldn't resist it so i went to the bookshop and i bought the book and i started the book and i'm 200 pages in so sometimes you just need to follow the mood and the mood said dragons and the mood said this the mood said this the mood said dragons the mood said this and i followed that so i'm going to continue with that mentality as we move into june and just follow what the brain wants and just you know Reading is fun, reading is for pleasure. And if I don't get to the sequels, I don't get to the sequels. This is a hobby, it is fun, or does it matter if I don't get to them? Future Abby can, can worry about that. Future Abby can, uh, can stress about finishing off all her sequels and uh, finishing off what she has started. So I will just leave it there for today. Uh, let me know what you are planning to read in the month of June. If you're joining us and taking part in Once Upon a Readathon, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there is a Discord, uh, which I can also link down below. So please sign up and join us and join Team Dragon. Join Team Dragon because there are so many dragon books out there. You want to be part of Team Dragon. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my future videos. Bye.